Hi everyone, I'm, I'm Kim Croker from Stampin' with Kim Arlene and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator on the west coast of Canada just out of Vancouver. Today I'm going to be showing you a card that I made uh, using um, four products that you can earn for free during Stampin' Up!'s celebration. So let's have a look at that. Well, I'll start with um, that it's a fun fold. It's it's kind of a different fun fold, and I quite like the way that it works in that it folds this way out the front. Uh, the edge is caught on some little bumpers that we made uh, with some flowers from one of the die sets, and then it stands very well, and then um, opens up and you can put your message inside. So this one, uh, the paper that I used is called Light and Airy, and it is gorgeous. I'll show you some of the sheets here. This is a level one reward, so you can earn this with $60. And the backs are all a little more neutral. The fronts are birds. The backs are flowers as well. The colors in these I just love. And there are 12 sheets two of each of six patterns. These ones are smaller because I've used most of them. This is the one that I'm using in the card today and the wash on the back. And then this one here is the last one. So they're quite pretty. So I'm going to start with uh, a light the light flight, sorry, it's called flight and airy, not light and airy. Uh, two pieces of the flight and airy designer series paper. These are going to be for our card front. I'll just set that off to the side. And these pieces are, oops, sorry. These pieces are two and a half by four inches tall and I'm going to need two of these. This is the Misty Moonlight Wash. And I'm going to use this with another free product, which is, um, this is part of a bundle. It's called the Softly Sophisticated 3D Embossing Folder and it coordinates with the other part that comes with it is a the Softly Sophisticated Stamp Set. I'm going to be using one of the greetings from that. And then this 3D embossing folder, this is a level two reward. So you can get this free with a $120 purchase. And I'm going to emboss my two pieces of paper with this 3D embossing folder. Now I wanted the pattern to go up and down. So I'm going to have to do each of these separately. But if you wanted your pattern to go across, you could put both pieces of paper in and do it in one go. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. All right, now I'm going to need, because this is a larger embossing folder, I'm going to need to bring up my large stamp and cut emboss machine. And I'm just going to set these papers in one at a time. And there is a line on the folder which is good to use as a guide. Now I do want these to match up side to side. So I'm going to use that line as a guide. And this is the front. You can tell which is the front with the Stampin' Up! logo will always be on the front. And then I'm just you know, show that to you and you can see that pattern now this is the it's almost like stitches but stitch lines popping up you could of course if you wanted to do it the other way so to um, deboss it instead of emboss second piece and again I want to match it up with that line on the front this usually isn't really something you have to worry about because but because I have two pieces and they're going to go side by side on my card front I do want them to match up and as I mentioned this is the softly sophisticated 3d embossing folder and that's part of that softly sophisticated bundle Next, what I'm going to need are two pieces of Misty Moonlight cardstock, and these are two and five eighths inches wide by four and an eight inches tall. 
and I'm just going to glue those on using some seal. You can use liquid glue with this as well, but you would want to use it very sparingly because these embossing lines are, maybe they're not quite through. They're very close though. Okay. I have been away for a while. I am very happy to be back and I'm glad that you are back as well. All right, so let's put this on here as well. These are the two sides of the card front. And then I'm using another free product, which is this Pool Party 5 8 inch crinkle ribbon. I love this. I, I have a hunch if you didn't want this color, if you wanted a darker blue, you could put blends over top and uh, color it with that. So I need two pieces that are three and a half inches long. You may notice I have a glass mat here. <clears throat> this is a fabulous um, tool that is new to Stampin' Up. Uh, it really gives you a good solid surface for stamping. And if you purchase a starter kit, you can get this for free as part of your starter kit. Okay, so I've got my two pieces there. I'm just going to tape these onto the back. And this is going to be about, hmm, just slightly more than an inch from the top of the cardstock. So one nice thing about this um, glass mat is it has a grid on it with measurements, which is, very handy. Okay, so I want that just about there. And I'm going to tape that onto the back. You could also use glue dots to hold the ribbon in place, whichever is better for you. Okay, so there's our ribbon, and I'm going to get my Pool Party card base. This is 11 inches wide by four and a quarter inches tall, and I have scored it at two and three quarters and five and a half. And I'm going to add these to the card base. And I'm just going to center it on each panel. This is actually quite an easy fun fold card to make. It comes together fairly quickly. Um, there's only one real trick to getting that center the bird to attach to the front so that it can pop up. All right, next I need a basic white piece of cardstock. And this one is three inches by two inches. I'm going to stamp the sentiment, which is from that softly sophisticated bundle. That's not it. Don't look at that one. This one here. And I'm going to use, I want to make a thank you card, so I'm going to use the I really appreciate you. Oh, the glass mat also comes with a silicone mat. Now this has four little areas that you can use to do uh, put inks and do water painting or the little stamping spots fit in there perfectly. Uh, because it's silicone, it stays on the mat. It doesn't slide around at all, which is very handy. So I'm just going to put my other ink pad. That's Misty Moonlight. 
and I'm just going to ink it up. Now, normally with photopolymer stamps, I use a pierce mat, but this glass mat is really good enough that it gives a really good contact with the stamp. And so I haven't been using my pierce mat lately, which is nice. I'm just going to close this up. All right. Now, the dies that I'm using for this card are called Thoughtful Expressions. It is a great die set. It has six circles, six scallop circles. They're stitched on the inside and on the outside of the cut line. There are four of sort of the rectangle, the fancy rectangles. Um, there are one, two, three, four dies that cut out the hummingbird and the three sets of flowers. Um, this is the, the, the bundle. This is the, the stamp set that goes with the bundle. Um, there's several sentiments there. And there are also quite a few standalone dies, the leaves. There's one, two, three leaves, the flower, and then there's this little flower here. Now these are the ones that I'm going to be using for the card that I made. I am using the third, fourth, and fifth largest dies. Then I'm using the smallest banner and the little trio of flowers. So we'll just keep those. I find it really handy to keep my dies on these little dollar store photo sheets. If I put them down there right away, they tend not to get lost. At least it's less likely that they will get lost. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to use this die for my sentiment. It is a tight fit, um, but I really wanted a thank you card, so I'm just going to make it work. And I'm going to use my mini Stampin' and Moss machine. So I'm going to use a few pieces of Misty Moonlight cardstock. I need a three by three inch piece and I'm going to use that with that third largest die. I'm going to use a one by one inch piece and this has some of the foam sheet behind it. So with a one by one inch piece of Misty Moonlight, you would cut a one by one inch piece of the foam. It's got a little bit of a thickness on it. This will pop it up a little bit, which is what I want for that little bumper. And so that's going to be with that. And then this other piece, I'm actually going to cut that into two. This is a four inch by two inch piece. So I'm gonna cut that into two twos. It's a little bit larger than that. And then I'm going to take this fourth largest die and I'm going to cut two of those. So I'm gonna put these over. I will not do them all in one row, I don't think. Okay, I'm going to layer my two pieces of cardstock. Hopefully that will cut through both of them. And I'm also going to put in a little trio of flowers. And then did that cut all the way through? I believe so, yay. Okay, those are all back on the sheet. The magnetic sheet. I'm going to put these away. No, oh, I'm not finished with everything I've got the bird to do. All right, let me put those off to the side. Now for the bird, again, this is the flight and airy. This is actually the reverse of the blue wash that I used. And I want this bird here. I want to get his tail in. I'm going to try and put these. Um, I'm going to put the points at the top and then okay, that's pretty good and I'm just going to because this paper is six inches wide I'm just going to pop out of camera and cut. 
Okay. Everything back onto the die sheet. All right, so let's start putting this together. I'm going to start with the bird. And I'm just going to put some seal on the back of this and then put it on the Misty Moonlight piece. And I want to line up the points on this and the scallops and try and get that as centered as I can. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to take these three little flowers out. Uh, the foam, besides being foam, has a sticky sheet on both sides. So this is kind of like getting a flower that's already got dimensionals on it. Put those off to the side as well. And then I want to take the two circles. I've got two circles here. And I'm going to put them on my scoring machine, scoring machine, scoring my trimmer, and use the scoring blade. And I want to score those right down the middle. And that's gone through to the second one as well, which is good. That's just what I want. And this is going to be our little pop-up mechanism for the bird. So what I want to do is to put these on the bird on the back. I think I'm just going to get a little line on the back so that I know where the top is. I'm going to draw a line on the back from the top point to the bottom point. So I'm making sure I'm putting the mechanism on the right place. So I'm going to put some seal all over the back, but especially at the top and the bottom of this. And I'm going to put it on that center line. I've got it folded with the glue down. And this is going to go close to the line. And I'll do the same with the other one. So if I hold this up close, what you'll see is there's the front, so the top and the bottom of my bird. I've got the top and the bottom of this fold, and I've got one full circle folded and half of it glued, and the second circle, the other half glued, and then I've got these two other flaps here. And what I'm going to do with those is put glue all over those as well. Now I don't want it on the back of the bird itself but I do want it all over there. So I'll just tuck that silicone mat in so that I don't get any on the back. And like I said, I especially want it at the top and the bottom because that will glue to the card as opposed to the ribbon. So I'm going to take my card now and I want the bird to be centered over the fold on my card base and I also want it to be centered over the ribbon. So I'm going to put it quite close to the top. And then fold that all down and press it quite hard. And then now when this folds, the bird stays flat on the front. I'm just gonna put my fingers under without bending the bird and just press that tab in very carefully. Now what we want on the right side is we want these three flowers. Should have burnished that a little bit more. Okay, I want the three flowers to be 
along that edge. And what I'm going to do is put it so that, actually I'm going to put it toward me. I hope you can see this here. Let's just hide that for now. And I want to center this along the bottom. Yeah, I don't think you can see that. All right, I'm going to center it so that I've got two and an eighth inches on each side because it's four and a quarter. And I'm going to take one of my little flowers, peel the backing off, and I want it right at the center. It's going over that way a bit. And about a half an inch from the edge. A little less than half. Okay, then I'm going to do the same with the other two, putting them about an inch away and half an inch from the edge. And then the same with the third. So that this holds that out the front. And then what I've got is three little opaque faceted gems. And these are another thing that is free that you can get with a $60 purchase. So this is a level one reward. There are, you can see I've used quite a few of these already. And they're Calypso Coral Pecan Pie and Pool Party. I'm going to take three of those little pool party ones with my take your pick tool. And I'm going to put those on the very center of the flowers. And there is a little bit of a, a bump, so you don't have to put something in the center, but I liked the idea of putting it in the center and it sort of ties in the card base color and the pool party ribbon. So almost done. We've got that. And then I'm going to take my sentiment and two dimensionals and pop that up. Peel those back and this is going to go just a tiny bit up from the bottom of that designer series paper. About an eighth of an inch above. And then that's finished and I've just got to put a piece of white paper on the inside. Oh, couldn't find it stuck to the, the gems. Okay, so I'm going to put some seal on this. Now, if you live in Canada, um, my shopping links are below and my, um, all of my other links are at, uh, in my information about me. And please have a look and see if there's anything that you like. There, you can get as many of the free celebration items as you want, one for each $60 that you spend. If you are enjoying this video, if you found it useful, please be sure to subscribe and to like it. And there is our finished card. It's kind of a fun, fun fold. It's a little bit different. It's pretty quick to make. Now, during celebration, you can earn your choice of a free celebration product for every $60 that you spend. And we have quite a few level one rewards and there are some level two rewards as well. And I used four of the products that you can earn for free in today's card. All right, thanks very much for stopping by and I hope to see you again soon. Take care everyone, bye-bye.